just the way it is. No, please troll! Don't eat me! I'm just small and tiny! If you wanna eat someone, wait a bit! My brother's much bigger, I must admit! Hmm... Okay, you can go! Goldilocks 
fox had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. You think you can help me? <laughs> You're 
you're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wow, you sure are brave. Oh, help me. Won't somebody help me? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion. Grab the rope and start to chew. I should never have laughed at you at all. Here, 
are you, mean old wolf? Three little pigs. Three little pigs. Three little pigs lived in the brick house. <laughs> <laughs>
plan, and off he ran to Grandma's house on the other side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Here's to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come.
the beans out on the grass. In the morning, what did Jack see? A huge beanstalk so tall and green. It went all the way up to the sky. This is a stalk I have to climb. He climbed and he climbed and climbed some more. Through the clouds, he saw a door. Look at that. something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Fee, fi, fo, boy, I smell a little boy. I smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle up high. <laughs> Oh boy, I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away, but the giant chased him all the way. He climbed down the beanstalk really fast and chop, chop, chopped it down. Now Jack and his mom had so much gold, they were rich until they were old. They both Happily ever after, happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. Yay! Here is crazy and mad. That means 
just closed her little eyes. When she opened them, she was by the riverside. She shook her head, looked at the stream. I just had the strangest dream. Was that all just a dream?
Toys. Here's the elephant. <laughs> Ooh. Elephant's bigger than a house, but he's still scared of an itty bitty mouse. Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to the zoo. <laughs> Woo. Let's yeah. go find the animals. Fun for me and you. Girls and boys, make some noise. Girls and boys, make some noise.
Spiders are so scary! No, they're not. They can't hurt you. They're only little. And you're so much bigger. But they're so creepy. Nah, they're friendly. And they always get back up when they fall. Watch this. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Incy Wincy Spider, Incy Wincy Spider. Incy climbing higher, Incy climbing higher. <laughs> I don't know. He still looks a little spooky to me. Nah, he's just doing his thing. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the barnyard door. Down came the rain and he fell on the floor. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the door again. Incy Wincy Spider, Incy Wincy Spider, Incy climbing higher, Incy climbing higher. <laughs> I guess he is kind of cute. <laughs> he sure is. And he just keeps on climbing. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the maple tree. Down came the rain and washed away Incy. Out <laughs> came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the tree again. Incy Wincy Spider, Incy Wincy Spider, Incy climbing higher, Incy climbing higher. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Don't forget, Don't forget to, to subscribe! subscribe.